what's happening everybody welcome back if you're new to my channel my name is carletta and here i speak on spirituality and self-awareness so in this video i kind of just want to do a little chill chat and talk about my personal journey as far as spirituality goes um, some of you may know that i started my journey um, a couple of years back you know, I've pretty much been spiritual throughout my entire life, ever since I can remember. I grew up in the church and um, was praise dancing, singing, speaking, the whole nine. Um, but as I got older, it was just something that created a disconnect within me where, you know, I just didn't feel it anymore, you know, and I wanted to seek out more. I went through my spiritual awakening. And from there, I started seeking out more knowledge into esoteric, into metaphysical, into the spiritual, cosmic consciousness, and all of these different things. And with that being said, I realized that there was so much more to life than what I knew. There was so much more to this human experience that I was aware of. And I realized that a lot of the things that I had learned was based upon the things that I had taught, not based upon the things that I allowed myself to experience on a personal level. And that that was a limiting experience. You know, if your personal experience was only based upon the things that others have told you, you know, or the position that people have, you know, kind of guided you into, then you haven't really chosen that path for yourself. And so that was something that I had realized, you know, I kind of just went along with it because it was what I learned to do. And it, not to say that it was something that I regret or anything like that, because that was my foundation and still is to a certain extent, you know, but I realized that there was more to it than just just the church, than you know, just um, the Bible and just Jesus. And that brings me to what I want to talk about in this video. You know, um, more so as of recently, I've just been noticing that there has been, um, I guess you can say more of a, a search for knowledge in each and every one of us. You know, the consciousness level of this planet is rising. But on my spiritual path, even before now, I have noticed just certain things being mirrored to me from a judgmental space. You know, as the saying goes, Christian can Christians can be some of the most judgmental people. You know, and I and I know from a personal experience because that's some of the things that I had to let go of within myself and just learning how to be in a place of impartiality and compassion and understanding that each and every one of us are human and this is an experience. So being with that being said, we're gonna go through different things and it's not gonna just be this straight line with you know no ups and downs. So with that being said, um, I, I started to come in into contact with different people that just really like showed me how judgmental uh, Christians can be. And I'm going to give you an example. One time I went to a psychic fair I was planning to go to at this church and I went to the wrong church. It was actually a church maybe a little bit further down. And um, when I got in the building, it was empty and it was, but the door was open, but the guy that was in there, um, I said, you know, is this affair going on here? And he, he was like, um, he was like, no, we don't do any of that here. We don't, no, nah, we don't do none of that. You know, it's kind of like he made it known that they don't deal with psychics. They don't deal with people that are into those type of things, you know, not us, you know. Um, that's forbidden, <laughs> but 
as I left, he made sure that he went outside and let it be known that, oh, I wasn't being judgmental or anything. You know, I wasn't saying that to be offensive. And I'm like, yeah, right. You said it the way that you meant it. No offense taken. I get it. You know, that's just the way that you were taught as well, you know, to, to see things from a limited standpoint that psychics, they are of the devil. Psychics, that's just something that you don't tap into, even though we all have psychic ability. So long story short, I got to the uh, church and the church is actually a spiritualist church. So it's it's well-rounded. It doesn't just deal with just the church aspect. They, they, they invite people with different gifts and they invite people to tap into their gifts. And that's something that I really like about spiritual churches because I myself, what I realize is I'm more of a person that enjoys different cultures, you know? I think that is beautiful that there is so many different things to learn from, from different um, spiritual aspects. And that leads me to my next story. Um, the, the previous one that I came in contact with, you know, I was out and a couple of girls came up to me and pretty much invited me to their church and they were just telling me how they felt that God is both a woman and a man, the feminine and masculine. And I totally agree with that. You know, I'm like, I, I'm with that, you know. But then once I told them that, you know, I'm more, I guess you could say in the paganism, um, that's something that I'm I'm into, I'm more open, you know, because I just didn't want to just say, okay, I'm, I'm Christian, I'm just black and white with things. And they made it know, <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> like, oh, well, that's not what we believe, you know. And it really just opened my eyes up to how, you know, how the world and the constructs of the system has put many of us into this closed-minded box and perception of what God is and belief systems, you know, and how we can allow our belief systems to keep us disconnected from other people based upon what they don't believe, you know. And so it was just, it was just mind blowing to me because, you know, she asked me for her number, for my number, I gave her my number, I didn't hear from her, you know, and so I just took that as, you know, the, the, um, confirmation that, you know, she wasn't feeling the fact that my belief didn't align with what it is that she believed. And that's totally okay. But I'm, I'm making this video to say that I feel like, you know, that's, that's something to, to, um, evaluate, you know, just because somebody doesn't believe the exact same thing that you believe doesn't mean that y'all paths cannot conjoin because it's still something that you all can learn from one another. And for me personally, I find that there's something that I not only can grasp from the knowledge of Jesus in the Bible, but there's knowledge that I can learn from Buddha you know, from the Buddhist. There is knowledge that can be picked up from the goddesses Isis. There's knowledge that can be picked up from Nefertiti. There's knowledge that can be picked up from Tafuti, you know, gods and goddesses of this earth, you know? And so with that being said, you know, when you kind of put yourself in just a box and you don't allow yourself to explore and see what else is out there, how are you to know? And how are you to judge someone else? Because you don't know where they are and where their upbringing was you know who's to say i might have been raised in that way and that's all i knew you know but with that being said um it's just kind of like keeps keeps that division going and one thing that's beautiful about the consciousness shift that is taking place i feel like this is something that's going to be less of something that happens but in people that are people are being more open to new ways of seeing things. But I know for me personally, I've not only just experienced it with these two incidents, but you know, people making commentary about tarot cards and making commentary about tapping into your psychic gifts and stuff. But as that saying goes, people fear what they don't know. And you know, when you have been taught only to see things one specific way, 
then of course you're not going to be open to seeing things a different way until you go through your own personal experience or you hit that wall where you want to know more, where you want to cross over, where you want to see what's on that other side, you know, for yourself. That is the only way that you're going to have your own epiphany. So I just wanted to make this video to encourage or to just say for those out there that may be in the same situation, don't allow somebody else's limitations to stop you from going through your own exploration. You know, if you want to explore and see what else information is out there, you know, because I just realized that for me, you know, I, I have a thirst for knowledge and that's something that keeps me excited. That's something that keeps me passionate. And um, it's just so much, it's just so much on this world and going on in this world that <laughs> it would take lifetimes literally to understand. And that's another thing. Um, that's another thing, you know, just realizing that I, I, my soul has been here more than just this lifetime, you know, just other epiphanies and realizations that I've come to on my own journey. And these things would not have happened if I allowed myself to be subject to stay in a, a church in a box. I just feel like, you know, when it comes to spirituality, what I've also noticed is that um, a lot of the terms and things like that, it's just different. Like, for instance, you know, when it comes to um, having faith in spirituality, what do we say? We say listening to your intuition, listening to your heart, listening to your soul, allowing your soul to guide you. Uh, when they talk about uh, sin, this is an aspect of the shadow. It's really the shadow. Satan is really the subconscious mind. You know, it's it's your your negative thoughts, your programming that is controlling your reality, you know? So it's really just different words, word verbiage that is used that, you know, I think creates that misunderstanding that, oh, okay, um, what they're doing is wrong. You know, when in fact, in the Bible, it's, it says the same things. It just says it in a, in a different way, in a different manner. You know, people demonize meditation, but meditation, you already do that when you go to sleep. <laughs> Little do you know, you're taking a nap and you meditate. <laughs> meditating is just closing your eyes and being relaxed. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing demonic about it. You know, and I guess that's the thing that I want to share in this video is I just, I just don't like how certain things are demonized because of the, the misunderstanding of the truth of what it truly is, you know demonizing tarot cards when tarot cards you use uno cards you use spades <laughs> you know demonizing um what else crystals when you going outside playing with rocks <laughs> you know like it's just kind of like there's so much different contradictory and um hypocriticalness that i don't even know if that's a word but you know it's, it's kind of like contradictory when it comes to the certain aspects of how Religion can create those barriers that demonize other things that are actually necessary to grow. You know, these these are just tools. These are just other elements and things that we use so that we can create a more fulfilling experience. That's just how I look at it. That's what I've come to realize. So, you know, I just wanted to share that as well. I hope that this video was helpful in some way. But that's pretty much my testimony up until this point today when it comes to spirituality. Um, still a path that I'm on. It's still a, a path that I uh, still plan to be on. And um, I feel like it's what each and every one of us are on because we're spiritual beings having a human experience. You know, um, spiritual is not limited to just to one thing. You know, it's, it's about what you're passing about. It's about what you find life worth living for, you know? And with that being said, I'm, I'm going to leave that there. I appreciate you all tuning in. Um, 
If this video resonated with you, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this topic. I appreciate you all tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one.